Baruto, 10 Things from Naruto the Writers Forgot About The Baruto series builds upon the shinobi world first established in Naruto, but there are a few details in the sequel that feel a little off. Baruto, Naruto Next Generations is the story of the young Baruto Uzumaki, the son of Kanoha's seventh Hokage, Naruto Uzumaki. With the aim of becoming a shinobi as great as Sasuke Uchiha. Baruto trains relentlessly as a shinobi and aims to get better every day. Although the writers for the story have done nothing but satisfy fans with the quality that Baruto has delivered so far. There are instances where the story simply forgets things from Naruto canon. While some of the forgotten details are minor, others are simply too big for the fans to turn a blind eye to. 10. Naruto Uzumaki's Truth-Seeking Balls Don't Appear in Boruto Having acquired the power of six paths and just two in the Fourth Great Ninja War, Naruto Uzumaki gained access to nine truth-seeking balls. These orbs were made of all the nature types and could nullify every ninjutsu with ease. Furthermore, a mere touch from the truth-seeking balls ensured that the target turned to dust making it an incredibly huge power-up for Naruto Uzumaki. Although the blonde ninja lost six of them in the war, his last three truth-seeking balls simply vanished, never to be seen again in the story. 9. The true power of the Byakugan is never focused on. The Byakugan is one of the most powerful Kekiai Genkai in the world and one of the three great dojutsu. Known to be in possession of the Atsutsuki and the Hyuga clan. The Byakugan was once a menacing power strong enough to completely shut down the chakra system of a person. Furthermore, it could even cause internal damage to organs, making it an incredible asset to anyone who wielded it. Unfortunately, this ability of the Byakugan is hardly ever focused on and has mostly been forgotten in Boruto. 8. The Sharingan's ability to copy Jutsu was completely forgotten. One of the greatest powers of the Sharingan in the story is the ability to copy ninjutsu, genjutsu, or taijutsu of any kind unless they're kekiai genkai or Haydn abilities. This specific function of the eye is what made Kakashi Hitaki a legendary shinobi in the Naruto series. Unfortunately, as with the Byakugan, this power of the eye is no longer important to the current Boruto storyline. Sarada Uchiha only made use of this power once in an anime-only filler. 7. Naruto's sensory perception isn't what it used to be. By the end of the Naruto series, Naruto Uzumaki had become the strongest shinobi in the world, and he also had the greatest sensory perception of any shinobi alive. This was evident from his fight against Madara Uchiha when the latter used Limbo clones, which existed in a different plane but were still sensed by Naruto with six paths and justu. Surprisingly, Naruto's sensory power has been greatly weakened in Boruto, as evident from his fight against Jigen, where he wasn't able to sense his body at all. 6. Naruto Uzumaki's Inyang release was never used in Boruto. Thanks to the six paths powers that Naruto Uzumaki received during the Fourth Great Ninja War, he gained the ability to use Inyang release in life or death situations. It allowed Naruto to restore Might Guy's life force even though he was destined to die, replace Kakashi Hitaki's lost eye, and even heal the dying body of Abito Uchiha. In Boruto, this power has never been used or even brought up despite it being so useful. 5. Sasuke Uchiha never uses most Rinnegan paths. The Rinnegan is easily one of the strongest Kekiai Genkai to ever exist, and this comes down to its six paths powers. Awakened only by Madara Uchiha and Sasuke Uchiha after Hagoromo's death. This eye is quite rare and known to offer godlike powers. Each Rinnegan user has access to seven paths, and Sasuke Uchiha is no exception. Yet, he hardly ever makes use of any Rinnegan power other than Ameno de Jikura. In the Boruto anime, Sasuke uses the Deva path on one occasion, 
but the manga never sees him tap into any of the paths of this eye. 4. The color scheme for Six Paths Sage Mode changed quite a bit. Naruto Uzumaki acquired the power of Six Paths Sage Mode during the Fourth Great Ninja War. Unlike the Kurama Chakra Mode, this form didn't add a glow to his face which made it easy to tell it apart from the other forms of the ninja. Strangely enough, the Boruto series changed the color scheme of the Six Path Sage Mode and added a yellow glow to Naruto Uzumaki's face as well. This not only made it harder for the fans to tell which form he was utilizing, but also caused great confusion about whether Naruto Uzumaki lost his Six Paths powers after the war or not. 3. The ninja ranks don't seem to matter for the old generation. After the Fourth Great Ninja War, some shinobi like Sakura Haruno, Shikamaru Nara, and Rock Lee made it to the rank of Jonin. Surprisingly, the other members of Kanoha 11 never progressed past their Chunin ranks, and if they did, the writers forgot to mention it to the fans. Despite not being Jonin, shinobi like Kiba. 1010 and Ino Yamanaka are crucial for the success of the village, which makes their ninja ranks even more confusing. 2. The Ten Tails lore from Naruto was completely changed. In the Naruto series, the Ten Tails was said to be a beast that took form when Kagaya Atsutsuki merged with the God Tree to reclaim the chakra she thought belonged to her. After being defeated, Hagoromo Atsutsuki sealed its husk with his brother's help and split the chakra of the beast to create the nine tailed beasts. In Boruto, however, the Ten Tails was known to be the seed responsible for the creation of the God Tree and it would only bear a chakra fruit by feeding it an Atsutsuki. 1. Jiraiya's body was somehow found in Boruto. One of the legendary San Nin, Jiraiya met his end at the hands of pain during his invasion of Amagekure. During the Fourth Great Ninja War. The idea of Jiraiya being brought back using Edo Tensei was shot down because his body was considered to be impossible to retrieve. Yet, Amato, Kara's genius scientist, was able to get a hold of his DNA to create his perfect clone named Kashin Koji. It is unknown how Amato got his hands on Jiraiya's DNA and two of the most accomplished shinobi in Kabuto Yakushi and Abito Uchiha failed to find his body. <laughs>